Have you ever reached for your razor, maybe just a day or two after shaving, and noticed little brown spots forming on the blades? Yup, rust. But wait, weren't those blades supposed to be stainless steel? Isn't stainless steel not supposed to rust? Well, you're not imagining things. And today we're diving deep into the chemistry, the design, and even the everyday habits that cause your blades to rust. So you'll never look at your morning shave the same way again right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's understand what stainless steel really is. It's not magic. It's steel, an alloy of iron and carbon with added chromium, usually around 10.5% or more. That chromium forms a super thin, invisible oxide layer that acts like a shield. It protects the metal underneath from reacting with oxygen and moisture. That's why stainless steel doesn't rust as easily as regular steel. But here's the catch. This protective layer can be damaged or overwhelmed. And razor blades? Well, they're designed for extreme sharpness, not durability. Razor blades are incredibly thin and honed to microscopic precision. To get that sharp edge, manufacturers grind them down to just a few microns thick at the edge. That process actually disrupts the chromium oxide layer in places, especially along the cutting edge. And once that shield is compromised, even in tiny spots, moisture can sneak in and start the rusting process. Now, let's talk about the environment. Your bathroom? It's basically a spa retreat for rust. Think about it. Warm, humid air, splashes of water, and very little air circulation. When you leave your razor out in the open, or worse, sitting in the shower, moisture clings to those delicate metal edges long after you've put it down. Even if you gave it a quick rinse and shook it dry, water can still remain trapped between the blades, especially in multi-blade razors. And guess what? That lingering moisture is enough to kickstart corrosion. Here's the science. When iron in the steel is exposed to water and oxygen, it undergoes a chemical reaction. This forms iron oxide, AKA rust. And once rust starts forming, it doesn't just look bad. It begins eating into the metal, dulling the blade and making it more brittle. So yeah, those brown spots aren't just cosmetic. They're a warning sign that your blade is breaking down at a molecular level. But let's go a little deeper. You may be wondering, why do some stainless steel tools like kitchen knives or sinks seem to last forever without rusting, while your razor blade starts corroding after two days? It's all about the grade of stainless steel and how it's treated. Razor blades are typically made from low alloy stainless steel, often something like 420 or 440 stainless. These are cheaper, easier to sharpen, and more corrosion resistant than plain carbon steel, but not as resistant as the high-end stainless steels used in surgical tools or luxury cutlery. Why don't manufacturers just use better steel? Simple, cost and performance, razor blades are meant to be disposable. You're not supposed to keep them for months or years. Plus, Harder steels that resist rust better are also harder to sharpen and may not provide the same smooth shave. Now, let's talk habits. We're often the biggest culprit when it comes to rust. Ever blown on your razor to dry it? That's actually worse. Your breath contains moisture and even a bit of salt, and that just accelerates the corrosion. Leaving your razor face down on a wet sink edge? Another classic mistake. Or worse, 
storing it in a cup or holder that collects water at the bottom. That's like soaking it in a rust bath. To prevent rust on your razor, rinse and shake it dry after each use and gently towel dry if possible. Store it upright in a dry, well-ventilated spot, never in the shower. Using a razor stand or magnetic holder helps keep blades elevated and dry. Applying a light layer of baby or mineral oil adds a protective barrier against moisture. For extra care, use a hairdryer to fully dry the razor, especially between the blades. These small steps can significantly extend your blade's life and keep it rust-free. You've probably seen razors advertised with anti-corrosion or platinum-coated blades. And yes, some do have protective coatings like PTFE, chrome, or platinum. These coatings help, but they're not indestructible. They can wear down with use, get nicked during shaving, or just degrade over time. Once that coating is compromised, the rust party starts again. Plus, remember, coatings can't protect areas between blades in a cartridge razor where moisture lingers the longest. In the end, the rust on your razor isn't a sign of bad quality. It's a side effect of high precision, delicate materials, and our often careless habits. Stainless steel razors are a marvel of engineering. They're sharp enough to cut cleanly through hair while gliding over your skin and they do it thanks to those ultra-thin edges. But that precision comes at a price. They're not meant to last forever. And rust? That's just nature doing what it does best, reclaiming metal. So next time you toss your rusty blade into the trash, you'll know it wasn't a failure. It was chemistry, design, and a little bit of humidity. And now that you know the science, you might just be able to squeeze a few more shaves out of your blades before they meet their rusty end. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.